So in this quick Quant Wisdom Wednesday, I just want to talk about something I saw that was really, really cool and I think is very, very important for anyone who wants to be a quantitative trader in any respects is to look at this tweet by Jeff Sun, um, CFTE. I would definitely check him out. Uh, good follow on Twitter. So shout out, obviously, to where I got this from. And he did something very simple where he said, okay, I'm going to put 500 trades into a random simulated environment with some sort of simulated uh, win rate and what that could look like for losing trades. And he kind of shows here is the potential losing streak you can have. And this is something I don't think a lot of people from the quantitative side do, but you can very easily with your win rate figure out which of these would occur. Now this is the, obviously, it's theoretically impossible or possible that with a 90% win rate, you could get a thousand losers in a row, theoretically possible. This is kind of, I think what you would get more or less on average. And I, again, I think there's a really good numbers to, uh, to potentially look at, uh, with one just simply being right. What happens if you have a 50% win rate right here? And that's where kind of most people I think are living. And that's probably where they're going to live is somewhere between 50 and maybe 60%. Uh, through the, the life of their career. Anyone who says they have an 80, 90, 100% win rate, forget it. Either that or you have a really bad skewed risk reward, right? You're risking a dollar to make, you know, five cents, right? Yes, you could have a 90% win rate, but it's not going to work out in the long run. So most people, I'd say, is somewhere in this area. And what we see is pretty standard losing 10 trades in a row, assuming that you keep this, this particular win rate over that length of time, obviously, win rates fluctuate, right? If you have a good period of time, you have a really high win rate. If you have a bad period of time, you can have really low win rates, that kind of thing. Um, strategies fluctuate with win rate. But total, if your win rate is roughly 50%, you could use 10 losses in a row. And what this allows you to do from the quantitative side, which is what we're talking about today, is to really look at it. And if you're, if you're recording your trades, great. If you're not recording your trades, certainly start. But if you're recording your trades and you see that you have a, you know, 50, 60% win rate, and you know that you could lose 10 trades in a row, um, it really behooves you and it really makes sense and something you should really, really focus on to go, hey, I want to understand that losing 10 trades in a row for whatever I'm risking, I'm totally okay with that. This isn't even going to be a rare occurrence. It's going to be a common occurrence that you're going to get these kind of 10 losing trades, uh, particularly in a row in a sample size of 500 trades. You could have right a maximum of 10 in a row. So a lot of sixes and sevens and eights and all of that as well. So, you know, take these numbers, take what you're risking per trade and spend some time getting comfortable in that. Uh, for Again, example, if you're risking 1% of your account on any given trade, you need to know that regularly over the course of 500 trades, you will get a drawdown of, you know, let's say 10%, maybe more, 10, 12, 14%, and that will happen. And that's, that's the way it's going to work. It's, you know, there's nothing you can do. That's the math, right? That, that's the, the way it's going to work. So if you're not going to be comfortable with routinely going from drawdown, so from the top of your capital down 10 to 15%, then you know, you can't risk that much, right? Because the win rate is something you you can control a little bit in testing. But at the end of the day, it's going to be what it's going to be. So if you're back testing a 60% win rate, sometimes it's going to drop to 50%. Sometimes it may be as high as 70%. And it's going to fluctuate back and forth. But even for the, you know, when you're at 70% win rate, you could have five losing trades in a row. So it means if you're risking 1% of your account, five or so percent of your account is going to go away. And I don't think people look at this, they look at it and they say, okay, if I'm right 50% of the time, let's say I have a 1.5 to one risk reward ratio, I'm risking $1,000, and I'm going to make $1,500. And they kind of look at it in their head, and they think it's going to happen in that order, right? Lose 1000, make 15, lose 1000, make 15, maybe a couple times that you win, and maybe a couple times that you lose. Uh, and they have that kind of in their head, but you got to understand that these streaks can happen. Now these streaks can happen on the other side. So you could win 10 trades in a row and think you're on fire. Uh, so I hope just looking at this data together and just really contemplating what this data means gives you some homework to go and to look at the data and go in and really think about this. What is your win rate? Um, 
when, if you got in a situation where you won 10 trades in a row, would you think that you're God and maybe up your position size? Well, you shouldn't, right? Because it's just part of the distribution. It's part of the statistics. It's part of the math. So understand that when things are going very well, it's just going to be part of this random distribution. When things are going very poorly, it's also going to be part of this random random distribution. So make sure that you're kind of treating yourself uh, accordingly when it comes to both those things. Look at the statistics, take them home with you, and thanks, Jeff Dunn, for, uh, for this information. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.